Hello, I'm Christian and in this week's episode we're going to show you the avionics integration of the LS25D engine. Hi, I'm Dimitri from Arca and I'm going to try to show you in just one take the whole amount of sensors we have mounted on LAS25D test article. Okay, so uh, let's try to do this. I'm going to grab the camera now. Uh, it has a stabilization system, so let's hope it's not going to, uh, the footage is not going to be very shaky. Um, I'm going to start with the load cells that are measuring the engine's uh, thrust. Basically, the whole test article is uh, mounted on uh, a metallic structure and this metallic structure um, be between the test stand and uh, this uh, square metallic frame, we have the four uh, load cells. These uh, cells are able to measure uh, thrust between uh, 0 and uh, 40 metric tons, but this engine is rated to only 25 tons, so we are more than uh, covered. Uh, what we have also on uh, the engine, uh, let's move on uh, this side, we have uh, a, press a pressure sensor that is measuring the pressure in the chamber, and uh, down there, we have a um, vacuum uh, sensor that is uh, measuring the pressure in the, uh, the engine uh, uh, exit. Also, we have uh, four temperature sensors that are measuring the temperature at the nozzle exit. At the middle of the nozzle, I'm trying to figure out where it is. So. Uh, yeah, here we go. And um, the third one is in the engine's uh, throat, and another one is in the uh, in the chamber. Uh, actually, we have in the chamber three uh, temperature sensors, but uh, these are going to different uh, data acquisition uh, systems. Um, so this is what we have uh, in terms of sensors on the engine. Let's go uh, up in the tank. We have here a differential uh, pressure uh, sensor that is measuring the uh, propellant level in the tank. And uh, basically we have a high uh, pressure uh, output from the tank that is going in the sensor and then we have a low pressure uh, exit from the top of the tank that is going all the way. Unfortunately, I can't show you there because it's, uh, I, I, I will need to go there. So I don't want to do this with this uh, camera. Um, and this is the, the circuit, you can see it. So basically the pressure from the top of the tank goes down from here and goes into the sensor here and the pressure from the bottom of the tank goes in uh, also in this sensor and is a very precise sensor that is uh, measuring the uh, hydrostatic pressure in the tank and in this way we are able to measure the propellant level. Now we also um, have on top of the of the tank the um, radar that is uh, measuring the uh, propellant level. Let me try to go on the other side. Okay, sorry for the... I was... Uh... Okay, so unfortunately we are not able to see it. Let me close the aperture a little bit more. Okay. Uh, so on the top of the tank, we have uh, the radar that is also measuring the level, as I said. Uh, you can see here a temperature sensor, also another temperature sensor, and uh, 
another temperature sensor uh, here. Uh, also, on top of the tank, we have uh, another six temperature sensors that are sending the data to the command center, to the data acquisition uh, system. So, um, what I also didn't uh, mention is that at the top of the tank, let me try to, to do this as... Okay, so let's see if we are able to see it from here. Let's go, let's zoom in all the way to the top and see if we can... Okay, so let me open the aperture a little bit. Okay, so now uh, we should be able to see here uh, another pressure sensor that is measuring the pressure at the top of the tank. And uh, here, somewhere... Uh, no, 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 let me just a little bit. Okay, yeah, here we have the um, temperature uh, sensors. Basically, there are thermocouples and uh, they are going into these uh, boxes. And inside these boxes, we have uh, 420 uh, milliamps industrial grade um, transducers that are converting the uh, voltage from millivolts to one to five uh, volts and are going into the um, data acquisition system. It's an industrial grade uh, data acquisition system. Let me close the aperture a little bit more. Okay, so um, yeah, that's pretty much uh, what we have in terms of uh, sensors on uh, LAS25D test article. This is the one of the data acquisition systems. And uh, we have uh, another one that is not here uh, right now. It's a tower facility where the uh, avionics people are trying to um, fix some bugs that we identified uh, last night. So yeah, that's pretty much it in terms of sensors, data acquisition system uh, and so on. Hello, I'm Victor and I would like to show you the latest developments on the LAS25D data acquisition software and recording systems. We developed the software for the data acquisition system that uh, acquires real-time data for the 16 sensor units. We created a software consisting of a front-end graphical user interface that consists of gauges te that acquire temperature, force and pressure units and a back-end that uh, acquires and processes data. The old software was slow and had to be replaced with a lightweight version that records 45 registries a second. We have a faulty sensor. So it might be necessary to bring it down to, to check it. So I don't know. That's uh, that's pretty bad because we need to unmount the cables. So let's see what's happening here. This is the sensor that is measuring the pressure at the top of the tank. Yeah. So right now it records 3.62 volts which is completely wrong because we are on 20 milliamps so it should be 5 volts and right now I'm going 25% down to 16 milliamps to 75% so let's see what it records Okay, how much? Three? Yeah. Okay, so I'll go down to four milliamps and see what's happening. Just a 
second. Okay. Four milliamps. Nothing. Nothing. Zero point twenty three. So yeah, this is obviously not right because it should be one. One volt. I brought down the pressure sensor from the top of the tank, it seems that uh, it's not working at all and we are going to send this back to the factory or uh, because it's a very expensive sensor or uh, try to uh, make further checks and eventually if it's not working at all we are going to dispose it so uh, it, it happens, it is what it is. So, And that's it for this week's episode. See you next time on Flight of the Aerospike. Bye.